In building applications, there are multiple typical HVAC technologies that we see today. Their use will depend on whether there is a need for cooling, a need for heating, a need for cooling or heating, and sometimes a need for simultaneous cooling and heating. In this animation, TRAIN will present the most common technologies used in the market today. TRAIN has the expertise to advise on system design and its broad offering comprises equipment using each of these technologies. Let's start by looking at this example of a winery, which needs chilled water year-round to bring the storage tanks filled with wine down to the right process temperatures. When a building requires only chilled water for comfort cooling or for process cooling, the preferred technology that is used is a chiller. They can be of air-cooled type as shown in this example, or a water-cooled type. By installing a trained chiller, a continuous and reliable flow of chilled water is available for the customer's process. Buildings often require both cooling and heating at the same time. Let's look at the traditional approach. The traditional approach would be to equip the building with two separate systems, a chiller to provide the chilled water for cooling and a boiler to deliver hot water for heating or hot sanitary water. Not only do many boilers burn fossil fuels such as gas or oil at their point of usage, their operation also leads to emissions being released directly into the atmosphere, a very unsustainable and unhealthy consequence. Fortunately, there are sustainable and innovative alternatives to this traditional approach. One of these sustainable alternatives to using the traditional chiller and boiler approach is to install a chiller equipped with a heat recovery module. The chiller will make chilled water and by doing so, heat is also naturally generated as a byproduct. Instead of just releasing this heat into the atmosphere and wasting it, the heat recovery module on the chiller will capture this heat and make it available for another use, such as for hot sanitary water. Let's look at this example of a factory or this bottling plant shown here. It needs chilled water to bring the storage tanks filled with milk to the right process temperatures. It also needs hot water to clean the floors and equipment. By installing a trained chiller with heat recovery, a continuous and reliable flow of both chilled water and hot water is available for the customer's process. One thing to keep in mind is that if you're not making chilled water, no byproduct heat will be generated, so no hot water will be delivered, which is why we say that this technology suits heating while cooling. Another solution when a building requires both chilled water and hot water is a heat pump. Heat pumps can be of air to water or water to water types. A heat pump can run to produce either chilled water or hot water, but not at both at the same time. Looking at this example of an office building, which needs comfort cooling in warmer seasons on the left of the illustration and comfort heating in colder seasons shown on the right. By installing a train heat pump, a continuous and reliable flow of chilled water is available in summer and then the heat pump switches modes and a supply of hot water is available in winter. Now some buildings have a year round need for hot water, but only a seasonal need for cooling. In this case, a heat pump with a heat recovery module is an attractive solution. Let's take a look at this example of a hotel and its swimming pool. It needs hot water all year round to have the right temperature in the swimming pool. We see it also needs hot water in the winter or chilled water in the summer to keep the guest rooms comfortable. By installing a trained heat pump with heat recovery, in summer when the heat pump is running to produce comfort cooling, the byproduct heat is captured and repurposed to heat the pool. Still looking at solutions when a building requires both chilled water and hot water, we can consider a multi-pipe unit, also called a four-pipe unit. It is unique because it can produce chilled water and or hot water independent of the energy balance within the building. Whether cooling, heating, or any combination is required, the unit will find the right balance to achieve the best system efficiency at any given moment. This example of a hospital shows the need for comfort cooling in warmer seasons and comfort heating in colder seasons, and also the operating theater, which requires chilled water all year round. 
By installing a train multi-pipe unit, all requirements can be met throughout the year. In buildings with larger cooling and heating systems, connecting these systems can be done by standalone water-to-water -water heat pumps. These heat pumps then take care of the overlapping cooling and heating requirements. Examples are hospitals, which have constant sanitary hot water requirements and constant cooling requirements for their sophisticated medical equipment and computer rooms. These water-to-water -water heat pumps can be easily installed even in existing buildings. Finally, in some specific applications, it makes sense to install a combined or cascade system comprised of a reversible air-to-water heat pump or a multi-pipe unit and a water-to-water -water product. In the case of this library, it is equipped with older style water radiators requiring relatively hot water to make them work properly. The water-to-water -water heat pump is used to do so. The air-cooled heat pump on the roof provides chilled water for comfort cooling in summer and hot water for part of the comfort heating in winter. If you are looking for a sustainable and innovative cooling and heating technology, there are many options. TRAIN is here to analyze and to advise on the best approach to satisfy the cooling and heating needs in your building. TRAIN rental, TRAIN services, and TRAIN controls teams are also always there to support you. Contact your local TRAIN sales office to get started.